Hello everybody, Dave Green here for the AFC Northerners Browns representative and we played Baltimore today in Cleveland final home game and we ended up losing 27 to 10. Uh, let's start out with some things from Baltimore. They've got a nice complimentary couple of backs there. They can do pretty much anything. They can run, they can catch, so they look really good right there. And their corners, Humphrey and Carr, look really impressive, pretty good. Uh, shut down guys. Um, as far as the game itself goes, uh, we had a great fourth down stop inside the red, inside the five yard line, inside the one yard line, and you felt like momentum was starting to change a little bit there. Crowell came right back, busts off a 59 yarder, and that was pretty much all we saw of Crowell. Uh, he didn't really get much action. I want to say it was like seven attempts or eight attempts uh, for carries. Um, I don't know why we went away from him. We should have continued to give him the ball a little bit more. Uh, Duke Johnson also looked pretty good catching the ball, and he had that one good touchdown right there. Um, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. It was a pick early, and then the Duke fumble and the strip. Um, yeah, uh, like I said in the video, Watson was going to get into the end zone, and that was our 10th touchdown given up to a tight end. Uh, that we've got to work on that uh, and that's something that we need to look at during the draft process and through free agency to see if we can't find somebody that can help us out with that stat. Um, at the half it was 17 to 10 Baltimore and I thought we were in this one. It, it, I think most Browns fans would have thought that we had a chance at this one at that point in the game. We actually had a lead at one point, seven to three. Um, Second half, that's where the wheels came off, and it seems to be a tale of the tape for us. First half to second half, and 80 yards to the 20 yards, and then inside the red zone. Um, first play of the second half, we got the ball back, and it was a designed run for Kaiser. That doesn't make a lot of sense when you're down 17 to 10. Why would you want that to be your first play of the game, of the of the half? Uh, I, I would have wanted to throw him the ball. I, I thought that throwing the ball there would have been the right thing to do, the aggressive thing to do. We're not playing for anything, so what the fuck? Why do we want to see a quarterback run? Let's see if he can actually uh, improve on his accuracy, which is something that he desperately needs to do if we're going to stick with him as the starting quarterback. Um, that's pretty much all I got. The, the, that play resulted in a three and out to start the third, and yeah, that one blew. Um, Drango did not look all that great. He looked okay for play here, play there, but the one he gave up, uh, the sack, the strip that went for the touchdown, that you cannot have, man. That, you watch the press conferences, and they say over and over and over again, every guy on the field has to be on the same page. Well, there was a guy who was not on the same page as the rest of the team. That one wasn't Kaiser's fault. That one was Drango's fault. <clears throat> and I'm going to wrap it up with uh, Mike Jordan, the kid that they, they brought up off the practice squad earlier this week. He had a few really good open field tackles. I want to say it was like two or three of them. Uh, that's a guy that should get some more action coming down with these last two games. Cleveland, we go on the road for our final two, uh, Chicago, and then on to Pittsburgh. And Baltimore, if I'm not mistaken, is at home for their final two. Uh, Cincinnati, the last week, and they have Indianapolis coming up next Sunday. I think that Baltimore's probably secured themselves a playoff spot, which gives the AFC North two teams inside the playoffs. Uh, a chance for us to get the Lombardi back into the north where that championship trophy belongs. It belongs inside the north and not in any other division inside football. Um, final score from the Browns-Baltimore uh, game, 27-10. to 10, And that was the last home game. So, uh, all right, uh, go Browns. Maybe we can get a W here and stop that stupid-ass fucking parade from actually happening because I think that that's a fucking joke. Um, we'll get a win, uh, hopefully, against Chicago, and then we can put that, the parade nonsense to rest. Either which way, Dave Green, Browns guy uh, for the AFC Northerners. You guys have a good rest of your Sunday. Everybody take care.